Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. What do we have today? We have Homayun Shajarian, the younger and the son of Muhammad Reza Shajarian, who we lost just a few weeks ago now. Um, yeah, so rest in peace to the father, but the son is equally as dynamic, equally as powerful when he performs. I've only done a few of his works. Um, the ones that come to mind are Prelude, uh, the song from the film. I'm not sure what the film was called. I think it was the film called Heavy Makeup. But that was incredible. It was transformative. His vocals are <laughs> almost indescribable and really, really interesting, especially from a small town kid from Canada. Uh, my ears perspective on it. It's just something that I was not used to, that is for sure. Something just captivating, uh, almost leaves you speechless. Uh, his first performance that I did hear was the one for Sanama, and it was the music video, which I believe was quite a bit longer than 2 minutes and 45 seconds, so I don't know if this is just a short portion of the uh, full track, the full um, piece, which is Sanama, Sanama, I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but this is in Washington, D.C., so we are visiting today Iran, but Iran, a little piece of Iran in Washington, D.C., my colleague, a uh, workmate of mine originally, told me about Homayun Shajarian, and she saw him perform, I believe, in 2000, yeah, just last last year. Uh, her name is Svetlana, and she's originally from Siberia. And she saw this gentleman live, and she could not stop talking about it. A uh, big grin on her face when she returned from that trip in Vancouver, British Columbia. So, hey, she's the one that sent me down that path, and essentially sent me down the path of discovering a lot of uh, Persian artists subsequently and somebody commented like oh you're maybe doing too much music from Iran now I do what is requested and eventually I get to everything it's just a matter of not uh, when that happens but it will happen and I'm not one this channel is not about comedy this channel is not about over exaggerations this channel is not about um, short gratification. It's not about instant grat gratification if you're wishing to view a reaction. This channel is about sharing music, uh, hopefully learning something, not just for myself, but for my viewers. Of course, there's going to be videos where I'm reacting to something that's a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun, or some hip-hop, uh, some rap. And not to say hip-hop and rap doesn't have the same gravity, uh, you know, gravitas that this type of music here does, the stuff that Homi Yun Shajarian is doing, but anyways, I've been uh, speaking too much for the beginning of this video, <laughs> let's get to it, he's live in Washington DC, let's go everybody. <laughs> So I absolutely love this instrument this gentleman here is playing and I may be incorrect on this but I feel like I've seen him before performing. Um, did he perform with Mohammed Reza Shajarian's live performance on the NPR Tiny Desk? I'm trying to think if he was there or not but I love that instrument. I love the sounds. It's super vibrant. Really, really colorful and interesting the way these instruments mesh together with Shajarian's vocals. Like, it's it's really, really dynamic. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Um, 
almost like vibrations within his performance. Those peaks and valleys that are so quick. They're so quickly executed. Like up and down, up and down. Uh, like I'm not going to for a second try to replicate it. But I think you know what I'm saying. It's just so cool. <laughs> for lack of a better word. So unique. So the crowd is absolutely ecstatic after that performance, just electric. And so much chemistry between all of these artists on stage. It's such an interesting piece, the way that they're able to layer those two voices. You probably saw me going like this. I was uh, trying to, you know, signify, I was trying to represent Shajarians here and, and his friend there and how they were layering together. It's really interesting. It's such a cool piece. You can feel that almost sense of folklore um the traditional sound and this is coming from somebody who knows virtually nothing when it comes to the experts you know in in comparison to anybody with any sort of knowledge about persian and iranian music and i'm just beginning to learn about it and these these instruments it's, it's just yeah something that draws you in um, there's something incredibly universal about it uh, there's a certain humanity um, yeah and even though I don't understand it I don't know I don't know what he's saying specifically uh, so that's what I would like to find out you guys can let me know down below um, as always you can expect a variety of music a variety of styles variety of genres to sprout up and make themselves aware on this channel you're never going to get one thing i might jump to norwegian hip-hop on the next video i might jump to Nicki minaj on the next video you just never know so i uh definitely make an attempt always and when I was, you know, just a few years ago, I was very pretentious, I felt, in some of my musical leanings and my bias towards certain genres or certain musicians. And I wouldn't necessarily look down on the people that liked this, these music, these types of music, but I would certainly feel that my musical taste was better. But sometimes it's just about opening up your mind a little bit, trying to receive music, digest and absorb music with an open mind and try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes.
and see why they might enjoy it. See why they might find it to be the best thing they've ever heard, right? That's what music is about and having empathy is about. You need to be, uh, try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes for a day, for a second, for a minute, whatever it is. Just try it. All right, we'll see you all soon. And yeah, thank you for joining me. Later.